<laughs> We're live. We're live. <laughs> What's happening, everyone? It's Billy Carson, aka Forbidden Knowledge. Hey, I fly free. <laughs> What's up? First one in the in the in the chat. Yes, yes. I right, fly free. I fly free. Four flames for four BK. Mm -hmm. All right, I see you. I see you. I fly <laughs> free. What's happening? All right. We're just kind of popping in on this quick pop-up update from Bora Bora. Yeah, we in Bora Bora, guys. Right now we're in Bora Bora, down in the French Polynesian in the South Pacific. Yes. Felicidades. I am Pau. What's happening? Pressure TV. <laughs> Bet. Oh, hey. everybody came in at once. Wow, it's a lot of people in here now. Okay, now we filling up. Now we filling up. What is happening? <laughs> We are just on a pop-up, quick podcast, real short for you guys. We're out here in Bora Bora in the French Polynesian South Pacific. Mm -hmm. And uh, we just did our forbidden nuptials. <laughs> <laughs> yes, we did. And yes, that's why the did. subject line says, live from Bora Bora with Billy and Elizabeth Carson. <laughs> okay. Yes, we tied the knot, guys. <laughs> we tied the knot. Mm, it was so, so beautiful, too. Yeah, it was amazing. It really was. We yeah. can't wait to bring it to you. I know our video should be actually done today. Yeah. So yeah. exciting. We're yeah. gonna give you guys some great visuals, some video updates, some great photos. We're already on, on a lot of the content to be processed. We we made a couple of posts on social media. We made a couple of posts on, actually on here on the YouTube community. Mm -hmm. uh, but we're really looking forward to uh, bringing you guys some more updates and. And we're going to launch our travel blog, right? Yeah, yeah, we are. We finally have some downtime where we're not traveling every other week yeah. to a different country. So we'll be working on our travel blog from three years ago. Yeah. <laughs> that we started three years ago. Literally, we have yeah. terabytes of data. And yeah. thank you so much for all the congratulations in the live chat. Yeah, thank um, you. I wish we could share, share every single um, you know, positive comment to the screen, but mm -hmm. that would be impossible because there's so many coming in. But we really appreciate you guys who... We appreciate your support, your understanding. Yes. Uh, you know, over the years, mm -hmm. um, you know, it's uh, it's been a process. It it's has been a, been a, it's been a process. I was, say, <laughs> I was about to say it's been a little process. Yeah. Brain doesn't like change. Brains mm -hmm. likes likes rea uh, normality yeah. and structure mm -hmm. and things that are are familiar. Yeah. So anything that is unfamiliar, the brain is automatically like looks at it like a threat. Mm -hmm. So it took a little time for people to warm up, but they finally did. <laughs> yeah, they warmed up to you. Yeah. And yeah. I and our, our our relationship because it's a real relationship. It is. You know? It is. It's a real relationship. Yeah. We are not perfect. We work very hard um, at our relationship, and that's yeah. I think why we're here. So. Yeah, we work hard, and I mean we work really yeah. hard. We do. Somebody had commented under under one of our wedding posts that we put up on Instagram. I think it was, and he said. Um, I think it was a gentleman. I think it was. He's like, how did you know that this is, the, you know, the one or this is the right time to get married? Like he was looking for some advice. Mm -hmm. And I was like, you just, you know, it's hard work. You, you just you have to get to a point where you guys are willing to make sacrifices for each other. Mm -hmm. um, and I said, we've been together for basically three years, almost 24 hours a day. Yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. Right. So we spend a lot of time together. A lot. We spend and all the time together. All the time. <laughs> all the together time. All the time. Yeah. <laughs> and but on top of that, yes, we do have some of our own things that you know I get on her nerves, she gets on my nerves. Mm -hmm. Things that we've done, um, but we're willing to we're willing to fight for one another. Nothing is perfect, and everything is a choice, and everything takes effort. So I mean, people get divorced because they they're not willing to put in the effort anymore, and yeah. it, it takes sacrifice and, and choice and and hard work actually and i wouldn't say it's, it's really really hard work for us but we definitely put in the extra effort i we mean put a lot of extra effort in i mean we've been in marriage counseling for eight months yeah before getting married uh -huh. Uh -huh. and uh and not only marriage counseling for as a couple couples counseling but also individual counseling as well mm -hmm. so i go see a counselor individually she goes and sees a counselor individually i've been seeing a counselor for like 15 years guys yeah. so i mean I, I think everybody should have some sort of mental health um, outlet um i mean therapy is great because you can not only vent out what you can't vent out to the world but you you it helps you reflect on your own self because i mean you can't really see yourself sometimes so what mm -hmm. a therapist helps you do 
is give you another perspective of your own perspective. So you can kind of see outside of your own consciousness, outside of your own perception. Yeah, so, exactly. Mm -hmm. And it's hard work, you know, and it takes time. It takes time out of our day, out of our yeah. busy schedule. Mm -hmm. But we're committed to it. And so just because we're married doesn't mean we're going to stop going to counseling. Mm -mm. No. We're we going to continue <laughs> to go to counseling. Yeah, we're I promise continue. you. And, and anybody out there that's in a relationship, you guys, even if you have a beautiful relationship, you don't feel like you have any problems at all. I mean, everybody has something. Mm -hmm. And it really helps you get a better understanding of the other person. Mm -hmm. Because literally, you're born into this, this three-dimensional body. And you can only see from your own perspective because of everything that you've experienced in life. Mm -hmm. So it's hard for people sometimes to see the other person's perspective and to communicate in the way that the other person will understand. Yeah. So communication is everything within relationships. And our counselor, our therapist has really helped us um, learn each other's communication styles so we can um, properly, you know, yeah. go over things in our, our relationships. So. Exactly. We can address things with each other without creating a toxic environment. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So there could be something that she's doing that might be irritating me or give me some level of concern. And now I have the tools and understanding to be able to bring it to her in a way that does not create a toxic situation or a negative environment mm -hmm. and, and vice versa. She, she does the same with me. Mm -hmm. And so what's really amazing is seeing how we've grown with that over time. Mm -hmm from the beginning until now, how, how you'll address things to me and how I'll address things to you mm -hmm. and how now after, after applying it over and over again, it begins to become normal. It become begins to become a lot easier Yeah. versus in the beginning. It's a little bit like, you got to think I got to process it. I got to understand how I got to do this, mm -hmm. but over time, and it's never perfect, but over time, it's like you become better and better at communicating. Mm -hmm. And when you get, become better at communicating in the language that you're, partner speaks, it makes life so much more easier, mm -hmm. so much more easy. I mean, you can literally then you could talk almost about anything and have a positive outcome or a neutral outcome, but not a negative outcome. Yeah, exactly. I mean, we all have triggers and trauma and that creates a certain uh, way you look at things. And because of something that may have happened to me when I was four years old can make me read something from him that is completely not what it is because of my past. Right. So when you have a therapist, you can help work through those things because it, it shows you like me saying this really means this. It doesn't mean that because of of what may have happened to you, you might read that in, in a completely different way. I mean, right. it's all communication, guys. Once you have your communication down, you you can pretty much get through anything. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Exactly. That's the key. Communication is the key, but yeah. not just any type of communication, because as I learned, I mean, heck, you know, a monkey can communicate, a cat can communicate, yeah. even an ant can communicate. <laughs> right. but when you talk about dealing with your partner in ways that are... Um, can create a delicate situation, the right type of communication and having the knowledge of how to communicate properly in the way that they will receive it mm -hmm. is so, so key. When I coach basketball, I coach basketball at a very high level. And one of the things that I realized with the players on my team is a lot of being a basketball coach is being a psychologist. You have to understand how to manage egos, right? You see those NBA coaches and those NFL coaches and those big time sport coaches, they're true psychologists, the best of the best of those coaches, the big, the biggest winning, winning, winningest coaches are psychologists. They've learned how to manage egos. They've learned how to manage communication, depending on each individual person that they're talking to. You can't talk to everyone the same way is the point I'm trying to get to. Mm -hmm. So through that process, I began to realize Wow. Even when I'm dealing with my partner, she receives things totally differently than somebody else might. And you have to learn that communication language. It's so key. It's so, so key. So I began to relate back to basketball and remembering one player I can actually kind of almost yell at about getting back on defense. Another player, I could really, really if you yell at them, they get frazzled and you lose them for offense. Mm -hmm. So you have to deal with them a, a different kind. You got to call a timeout, bring them over, say, hey, I really need you to get back on defense. Saying the same thing, two different communication styles. Mm -hmm. Exactly. I mean, love languages are important, too, because 
like my love language could be, well, my love language is um, words of affirmation, physical touch, um, and his love language could be completely opposite. So in the way that I receive love, if he's not giving me love in the way that I receive love, I'm not going to feel love. So it's important to talk about your love languages within your relationship as well, because yeah. let's say his is physical or um, um what is it? <laughs> <laughs> like service, acts Serv of service, acts of service. <laughs> acts of service, right? And that's probably the lowest on on my in my radar of love language. And if he's giving me acts of service, but I don't receive love in that way, I'm not gonna feel like he loves me, right? If he's not giving me words of affirmation and telling me he loves me all day, I'm not gonna feel like he loves me, right? So, I mean, it's important to understand your love languages too. Which mm -hmm. we did a whole podcast on this probably about a year yeah, and a half ago. Yeah, exactly. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so we're super excited. We're super pumped. We had a great time here on Bora Bora. Um, we're actually wrapping up and getting ready to head over to a little speedboat to take us back to the airport. That's on this little tiny piece of land so we can fly out of here. Mm -hmm. But we just definitely want to check in with you guys and just give you a quick update. Hopefully drop a little bit of knowledge on you that you can utilize in your life today mm -hmm. and help make your current relationship or your future relationship a little bit better. Yeah. And manifestation is real because I've seen this whole, the whole wedding day I, I've seen before in a different way, but I knew it was going to be on a beach. Mm -hmm. I knew it was going to be with someone like Billy. <laughs> I mean, I knew I saw this before. Everything that I've ever visioned and envisioned has come to pass. And that's not a lie. That's mm -hmm. like 1000%. I mean, master manifester and it's all yeah. possible. That's it's right. All possible. You have to become a master at manifesting. Mm -hmm. And uh, this really was the wedding of my dreams, mm -hmm. like literally being able to have an indigenous wedding with tribal leaders and tribes. And, <laughs> right. Yeah. We had uh, the drums, we and had the, the dancers and, <laughs> and the horns and the salutes. And we had uh, the, uh, you know, the, the uh, indigenous language, which was so powerful. Oh, my God, it was. It was, you know, the master of ceremonies was speaking in native tongue. Um, it was just incredible. Yeah. What a great alternative way to, uh, you know, to make that huge commitment. Mm -hmm. And for us, it was just magical. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it really was. It really was. Mm -hmm. We didn't have to think too hard. So, yeah, that was the best part. All right, no, no yeah. stress. No stress. Yeah. It's Shout so out to easy. the Four Seasons, Bora Bora. They yes. did a phenomenal job. They did. Our wedding planner did an amazing, amazing job. Yeah, she did. Yeah. <laughs> she didn't leave out any details. Mm -hmm. Everything was Every detail, the details we couldn't even conceive were taken care of. Yeah. Yeah. They did a phenomenal job. Yeah. It was a perfect day. Like it was literally a perfect day. Mm -hmm. And it took a little, you know, there's a lot of resistance before you have a big, huge breakthrough. I mm -hmm. mean, there was a lot of resistance right before our wedding, like yeah. a lot, guys. Yeah. And um, yeah, but the day was perfect. Mm -hmm. Perfect. Yeah. Literally perfect. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And it squeezed itself in right between one of the largest storms in ever 60 hit this years. island. Yeah. Yeah. In 60 years, they had the biggest storm that hit this island in 60 years, the day after our wedding. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So we got the cuddle. Mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> we got the snuggle, buttle, cuddle. <laughs> yeah. And then the next day, it was gone like it never happened. And we went hiking up mountains and, yeah. and jet skiing in the ocean and had a great time. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. It was great. Mm -hmm. It was great. Perfect. It's been perfect. And now we uh, head to Tahiti and then we head to Egypt. <laughs> yeah, we're headed to Tahiti in, a, in about an hour mm -hmm. or less, actually. And then from Tahiti, we're heading to Egypt to go meet up with Robert Edward Grant, the yeah. best selling author mm -hmm. of Philo Math, also the winner of the TV host of the year for the first annual Forbidden Conscious Awards. Mm -hmm. uh, and of course, he is the founder of many major corporations that he's also now have taken public. And uh, we're looking forward to meeting up with Robert Grant and a few other amazing people in Egypt to go on a new discovery uh, adventure and to map out some incredible things that we can't wait to bring to you about frequencies, about notes and songs and uh, things that are tying the pyramid grid on the planet together. This is not a tour for like, you know, people coming out to hang out like fans. This is a this is a research and investigation uh, mission that we're going on to bring new knowledge and not not only to you guys, but to the world 
about the mystery of the connection between the ancient pyramids around the entire planet. So yeah, I'm we're tuning. We're tuning pyramids. <laughs> we're going to be tuning yes. pyramids to specific mm -hmm. frequencies, mm -hmm. live and in real time. Yeah. And I hope my Geiger counter made it out there to Egypt. Yeah, I'm uh, sure. I didn't hear back from Robert yet. We had to ship it to him, but we're going to be doing some radioactive tests, uh, some background radio radioactive versus uh, ambient energy being emitted from some of these stones, mm -hmm. and recording the uh, the energy being transmitted from some of this magnetite crystal granite, some of the andesite, um, also emitting radiation, showing that they're still utilizing or accessing uh, or emitting a power source. Yeah. So it's going to be pretty cool. Yeah, it is. Yeah. It is. Okay, guys, we got to go catch our boat. So. Yes, <laughs> we got to go catch our boat because yes. there ain't no cars over here. No, there's not. <laughs> so <laughs> we got to pack up. We just wanted to holler at you guys real quick. Don't forget. If you want to become an investor in 4BK TV and Forbidden Knowledge Incorporated, the link is in the caption of this video. Mm -hmm. Make sure you guys click that link and get your shares ASAP because our company is going places. We execute yes. everything we say we're going to do, we do above and beyond. Mm -hmm. If you are a current investor, please click the link in the caption of this video for an update on the company and your investment. It's all on that same page. And also, if you have any questions, go to the questions and answers section because it will answer 99.9% .9 of your questions right there as well. Mm -hmm. And if you want to come with us on part of our Forbidden Knowledge Tour next year, the links to the Forbidden Knowledge 12-Day VIP Tour is in the caption of, the, um, of this video. And of course, our Forbidden Tour of Turkey, which is also coming up next year, the link is in the caption of this video. If you want to go see Darren Kuyu, Rebecca Tepe, if you want to go to uh, Karahan Tepe and all these other amazing sites throughout Turkey on a secret forbidden tour, super VIP, make sure you click the link and come with us and celebrate my birthday in Turkey. It's going to be amazing. Super it's going to be amazing. All right. Thank you for all the congratulations, you guys. Yes. We thank appreciate you. It all. We yes. appreciate you guys. We love you so much. Uh, the comments have been off the charts. Incredible. Mm -hmm. I mean, comments, positivity versus trolls is like 900 million to one. Yeah. So it we're really, really <laughs> very pleased yeah. and so happy. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Thank you so much. And we'll see y'all very soon. Yes. We'll go live from Egypt in just a few days. Yes, we will. All right. All right, guys. Peace. Peace, peace.